RCD's mission is to create and preserve affordable housing for people with the fewest options to build a community and enrich lives. Berkeley became a very important place to live. It built on the free speech movement, the anti-war movement, the environmental movement. They came as students, many of them, but they didn't want to leave. And so the amount of housing became less available. And so watching all of this displacement among families um, resonated with me because at one time in my history I was one of those families. And I began to learn about the possibility of having a nonprofit local development corporation actually devoted to providing affordable housing. And we've grown because we've had excellent staff and the commitment to affordable housing has grown along with RCD. When I started, it was a very tiny organization. I believe there were five full-time staff and a couple of consultants. Wonderful, incredibly committed folks at the time, and it was very compelling to work there. When we first started, our only goal was housing, and we were taking anything that came our way. Uh, these days, we're really a true developer. Um, people come to us with properties, I think with funding opportunities, and our projects are just much bigger. It's not just resident services, but it's really community development. And I think that's the best part about RCD now is we're actually moving beyond just providing housing. And we can really affect people's lives in a positive way. An accomplishment of RCD, I would say, is that they became the launching pad for movers and shakers who went on to do big things in the nonprofit housing sector. Jack Gardner is one, Josh Simon who started a Balsy in Oakland. I think each person did their part and then moved on and, and they were really gracious in, in making sure that it was established for the next step. And they weren't, their egos weren't involved in it. They were actually making sure that we succeeded after they left. And I think that's a pretty special person who does things like that, it really is. We were the first nonprofit to, to use the HUD 811 program, which was housing for people um, with disabilities for people living with HIV. We're able to get that built, and it was quite a, uh, an accomplishment. We also really never shied away from permanent supportive housing, and we did quite a lot of that, and now that's seen as the ideal way to house folks coming from being unhoused. It is true that RCD was one of the first um, affordable housing groups to really focus on green and sustainable um, materials, um, systems in our buildings. You see it in all of our newer buildings, places like Coliseum, all the new buildings that we're building have these kind of materials, the solar panels, the hot water, the heat pumps, all this stuff. We're excited that we were able to be a leader in environmental construction. We were told multiple times that we would never be successful with Oxford Plaza by people I really respected. And so, you know, I'm not the kind of person who's gonna go and say, I told you so, but I certainly think about it and say, yeah, we, we did that. And I think that, you know, the years have really shown how um, beneficial and what a just incredible community resource the whole project has been. It's a beautiful place to live. Having an affordable apartment means I only have one job and it's making it a lot easier for me to get through every month, every year, saving up versus having two, three, or four jobs. I didn't have a house. I was in the shelter going from one to the other. It's nothing wrong with saying you failed a couple times, but you're able to get back on your own feet and say, okay, I've made it this far. Being here, I'm actually happy. Adding housing is just so, so challenging, and it's become even more so over the years. We're on now our, to our fifth decade as an organization, and there is something about longevity that's really important for an organization to understand, and I think that we've, we've sort of gotten to that point that's really good. RCD is special because it has a great reputation. It is tried and true. I've always said, whenever we get together, for our annual retreats that it renews my faith in humanity. The amount of love and effort that people give to assisting and helping those less fortunate than them is phenomenal. 
It's easy to support organizations like RCD, as simple as making a donation. You can go to our website, rcdhousing.org, and make a donation. We appreciate that very much. And of course, just being a pro-housing person in your community. There are opportunities to get out and support individual projects, um, individual initiatives to fund and build all types of housing in our communities, and we really appreciate that. Oh,